By now you've probably seen a video that shows you can bypass the security on the iPhone 5S just by faking a fingerprint. So is Touch ID worthless? No, it's still very convenient and I'm going to show you how to set it up now. The typical way to unlock a screen is to slide to unlock and then you enter in your passcode. Pretty easy, pretty simple. It's not difficult to do, but the easiest way to do it is to use your finger. And over the past few days, I've been doing that with my 5S and I found it to be very convenient just because it's quicker than me going back and forth. So it's just a matter of convenience rather than this amazing security. Now we've seen that there have been ways to get by that security if you are enterprising and know what you're doing. But for now, let's just focus on setting up the security. First, you're going to go into the settings menu. Then you go to general. And then you go to passcode and fingerprint. Now, once you're in there, you're going to enter a, a numeric passcode. That's what we're going to allow to make sure that in case the fingerprint doesn't work, at some point you can enter a number to get back in. So you're going to remember the code, but the fingerprints is the way to get by that. Now, you can set up a fingerprint uh, very simply, but it's important to set up multiple fingers. For instance, the past few days, I've only been using my right hand, but every now and then, if I'm holding the phone in my left hand with my thumb, I'll put it and it won't recognize it, and then I remember, oh wait, I haven't recognized this. So uh, I'm embarrassed to say that I thought that both of your thumbs had the exact same fingerprint. I know it's very stupid, but eh, whatever. So I'm going to register another fingerprint on my, my left thumb, and what you do is you just tap it multiple times from different angles so it picks up uh, uh, various ways to map your fingerprint and recognize it and you just keep doing it until eventually it feels comfortable okay and now uh, when you go back this is where you would do it from different sides so in case the angle gets a little bit off it makes it easier for them to recognize success continue in the future you can delete this so also keep in mind if you have like a child that you let use your phone you can also add their fingerprint so it can be more than just one person's finger all right now that i got it set up i'm gonna go back and uh now that i have everything on the lock screen you can see when i come back if i use my middle finger it says try again doesn't recognize it if i use another finger once again, doesn't recognize it, but when I use my left thumb, I'm in. At the moment, you can only use this for unlocking the device and purchases in the App Store. It's not going to work if I try to log in with Foursquare because Apple doesn't want to turn over this information to third parties. So it's uh, in that regard, they're trying to protect your security there. But if I go to download an app and I install it can ask me just if I want to put my fingerprint rather than having to enter my password. But the first time you restart a device, you will need to actually enter your password just to confirm that it's you. Uh, but other than that, you should be able to just uh, scan your fingerprint instead of having to enter in uh, the many keys of your password. If you're like me, you got like a 20 letter password. This is going to be something that's much easier. So anyway, this is Andrew from mobileburn.com showing how easy it is to set up the Touch ID sensor on the iPhone 5. S and how to use it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, feel free to click like and subscribe.